Okay, I've gone to an obsession. Union chair, nice supportive. Feet firmly planted on the ground, they're not crossed, not tucked under the chair. Hands are resting in your lap. And your attention on to your breath. You begin nice and easy. Notice the air pass through your nose. Out through your mouth. Good, nice and relaxed. With the out breath, start to bring tension into the body on the in breath. Start to sit up a bit more, extend into the back of the chair. Out breath, relaxed. Let the trunk come forward. That in breath again. Extend shoulders back up tall. Lift to the chin. Out breath down. Relax, let the tension go. Breath in, shoulders back. Breath out and relaxed. Breath in. Lift, hold, good. Breath out, relax. Breath to the middle. As you breathe out, soften the shoulders, look over the shoulder. Back in on the in breath. Out breath round to the side. In breath to the middle. Out breath to the side. Into the middle. Out to the side. Breath in. Breath out. Tension on. Tension gone. And this time is a nice big deep breath and hold. Good. And then with the out breath, just down and relaxed. Let all the breath go. Hold the relaxed position. Nice and soft and heavy. Ready, breathing back to normal. Hold that upright pose. Breath in, shoulders up. Breath out, relax, let the tension go. Breath in, shoulders and arms. Breath out, relax, let the tension go. Shoulders, arms and fists. Release. Shoulders, arms, fists and neck. Down. Last one, shoulders, arms, fists, neck, squeeze the face. Good. And down, let the tension go. Breath in, raise those arms. Breathing out, relax, nice and heavy. If you need help, support the arms, won't do them on their own. Breath in, lift. Breathing out, down. Breath in, lift. Good, even breath. Extend, push those arms straight, fingers apart. Good, down. One more, last one. Excellent. And down, relaxing there. Let all the tension go, nice and heavy. So back up right there, forward in the chair, space to move into that relaxed posture to begin. Let the muscles soften, hang on the connective tissue, your ligaments. And when you're ready, you breathe in, lift up. So now the muscles are working. And then you breathe out, let the tension go, switch the muscles off. Back to your mid pose, breath in. 
bring all the tension back into the spine. Again, let it all go. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Good. Breath in, tension into the spine. Out breath, arms wrapped around, rotate the trunk. Through the middle, grow tall. Relax, wrap around. Tall the in breath. Relax on the out breath. One more each side. Wrapped around. Good. Back into the middle. Big breath in. Hold that tension. Feel the muscles of the back squeezing. And again, let it go, let all that tension out of the spine. So, okay, carry on. This time the focus is at the, the, the lower trunk, the pelvis. So it's that rolling back of the pelvis, rolling forward of the pelvis. Okay, so tilt, let the pelvis roll back. Tilt, bring it forward. Okay. So in breath, roll it forward, out, relax, let it go. In, roll it forward, out breath, relax, let it go. Good, let the feet come forward slightly, roll the pelvis forward, and the out breath, relax, stretch, down towards the feet, and then return, and again, in breath, forward and up, nice and tall, out breath, release, stretching down, nice and relaxed. Okay, enjoy yourself back into the chair. We now focus to bring the lower limbs into the, the movement program. So you lift the trunk on the in breath. On the out breath, you relax the trunk and then draw up through the legs, stretch up. And return. In breath, tall. Out breath, relax the trunk, stretch through the lower limb. In. In breath tall. Out breath stretch. Mm. 
One more each side, breath in, lift the trunk. Out breath, relax the trunk, stretch the knee. In breath tall. Out breath down. Tension through the neck. And in breath and hold. Keep the tension in that trunk. Again, just let the tension go with the out breath, nice and relaxed. Some of the tension. So back there. Okay, so that's the chair warm up part complete. We're going to go into standing. You need the chair to balance, keep it nearby. Always tuck it out of the way. Uh, for this part, then you're going to bring in some weights, bottles of water. And you decide if you've been on the, if this is, you've been coming a few weeks, thinking about whether you can begin to bring a, a heavier weight along. You're innovative with what you can find around the home. So, we're going to work on uh, a little medley. So, we're going to do um, three sets of up to 10 repetitions on each exercise. So, keep up in up to. So, you can do three, five, eight, ten, your decision. Just start with the tiptoes. So, we're going to up and down up to 10, but then we're going to do an arm exercise and then come back to the calf raise. Three, four, Right. Nine, six, seven, eight, ten. So follow that with front raises. So hands to shoulder height up to ten. Two, three, four. Uh, 10, so that's one set. So there's six, six, second set then through the feet again, so up and down, the tiptoes up to 10. And 10, fantastic. Raise and low again with the arms up to 10. Five. And ten there, good. So second set down, third set. Again, rest if you want to rest, it's okay. Up through the tiptoes. Up to ten. Three. Four. Ten, good. And last one with the arms in front. Five. Ten there, good. Okay. So next set then with squats and side raises with the arms. So just a side on view for the squat, if you're aiming for the chair that's not there, you're sinking down, push back up, leave the chin up. And as you move into two, three, four. And the 10, good, so the side raise has the shoulder height up to 10. Five. And 
10, good. So set one, two more sets. Back into the squat. Five. So good, back in again on the side raise. So raise and return. Five. Ten, good. So second set down. One more set. Remember, stop if you need to stop. You're in charge. Last set of ten in the squats. Five, six. And 10, and last set with the side raise. Give her up, and down, up to 10. Five. And uh, excellent stuff. We're going to pop one of the weights to the side. This time, be a combination of side bends and then a bit of leg work. So, hold the weight on one side, push down, up and across. Two. Five. Yeah, back in ten, go for about twelve. Twelve. Using up there, switching sides. Right. Weight down, pull up and over. Ten. Twelve there, good. Okay, so we'll then do the lunges. So leave the weight, switch the weight over. You can do one leg. So we've got the weight in the right hand, left leg doing the work. Up and down. Up to fifteen. And stop if you need to stop. Good. 
Okay, excellent. Switching over. So left handed load, right leg working. Up and down for up to 15. And being there, good. Okay, bring the weight back over. So we we'll go back in our side bends, reaching to the side, pull up and over. And two more. Twelve. That's them. Switch sides. And as always, you move. Your ability, pause and rest if you need to. And Well, good. Bring the weight back over there. Do one more set on each of the legs. So, right hand load, left leg lead, up to 15, forward and return. Same. And switching over. Last set with the uh, with the weight. Now and turn. Right. And up to fifteen. We're in charge. Five. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Slightly sold you a lie there. Just gonna bring your weight back in. Do our roll downs, our forward bends, and then we'll uh, finish with the weight. So, in breath, extend up tall. Out breath, shoulders round, chin tucked in, stretching down. Not afraid to flex the spine, confident in your body. Now three, I'm going to go up to ten. So. Five. 
Swam, deep breath in, slowly out and down. And bring yourself back to finish. Excellent. All right, weights are out of the way. Next function, then, going to go down onto the mats. So, engineering position. Not familiar, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Next, that pelvis leading the movement. So tilt the pelvis forward, roll it back. You're bringing the whole spine in so that tilt back and lift of the ribs, chin tucked in, tilt forward, sinking the ribs, tilt the chin lift, flexion, extension, opening up the joints, closing them, you get full range in both directions. And bring yourself back to that neutral position. Lower your bottom down. The deep breaths in this stretch hold. And then feel the ribs expanding on the back. Maybe release, just a little bit more stretch through the shoulders. Yeah, good. And back into your neutral position there. Space behind to push your leg into. So you stretch away and return away on the opposite leg and return. This time you push the leg out, hold, take the foot to the side, in and down. Extend the leg and then side, in and lower. So in this position, kick away, out, in, down, opposite, lift, out, in, down. Good. Nice squeeze the muscles in the bottom. Aim for a couple more on each side. One more on each. Good. And relaxing there. Back into our familiar movement. Tilt to the pelvis. Sink your bottom down. Very good. You're resting on your tummy. The tension is on our working our spinal muscles. 
We're going to draw the shoulders back, raise that upper body down and release. Bring the breath work back in, so breath in to lift, breath out to lower. Good. You want to make it more challenging, hands are at shoulder height. Good. If you're still feeling quite confident, want to make it even more challenging, hands are stretched up and down. It gets harder the further the hands away from the body. And just a couple more. And bring those hands back. Ease yourself into your kneeling position. Loosen. Good. Sink the bottom down. Gently. Pull your hips over to one side or the other. Feel the change in the stretch. Mm. Easing out from there, round, coming onto your side. <coughs> Lining up with the legs in an extended position. Okay, so similar to the, um, the standing functional part, we work with up to sets of 10. We're just going to change uh, the exercise in between. So, step one, you're going to lift the leg up and down for up to 10. And step two, you're going to hold the leg in the air and pulse it for up to 10. So, you can do three, five, eight, you choose. It's a lift and down. Ten, good. So then it's hold in the air and pulse. And then and down. So that's set one. So two more cycles like that. Like I said, you judge the reps, you're in charge. Raise and down. And good, and then it's a pulse. Good, okay. Just need to plug the computer in, my apologies.
Okay, last set. So it's 10 lifts, or up to 10 lifts. Ten, good. And then it's the pulse. And these are down there, good. So I'm feeling those muscles on the, the hips working. Just round that off with a bit of rotation work. So you're back in that clown position. Feet together on the floor, open closing the knee. We we'll do up to twenty on this one. So it's a raise and down. As I said, you choose. Three, five, ten, doesn't matter. And then challenging yourself. Um. Good. All right, we're going to switch sides, balance ourselves out. Mm -hmm. Get there. First position, my legs straight. So again, it's 10 repetitions, 10 leg lifts, 10 pulses. You work to the level you feel you can do. So three, five, eight reps, doesn't matter. And it's three sets or three sides. So we're lifting and down. Ten to pulse. There's so that's one set. And then again. Ten, good, and this will be hold. Two cycles down, and third cycle up to ten lifts, ten pulses, rest if you want to. Lift and down. Ten, good, and then the pulse. In that plan position then, so the hips bent, feet together in line with the body, and then open and closing up to 20 repetitions. Last bit on our side. And 
Good stuff. Okay, so again, get all those glutes working. Bring ourselves into a last position in on our backs. Start, shoulders, head and neck are nice and relaxed. Bring the feet and knees together. You have that rotation of the lower trunk. Gently to the side, middle and across. Uh, take that a little bit further, really stretch out the lower spine, rotation, stretch out muscles connecting the ribs to the pelvis. And ease yourself back into the middle there. Feet and knees, tennis ball width apart. <clears throat> we'll start off then with um, some hip control. So we'll work the knee to the side, control it back in, opposite side, and return. Good. Challenge your coordination, take your hands to the ceiling. So as the right knee rolls to the side, the left hand follows and way to the side. And then it's left knee, right hand, move away from that midline. Now ideally, your trunk in the middle is staying nice and steady. Okay, so if you feel that you're not in control and your body's twisting, then just drop the arms. Focus on the legs. You can picture a tray with a glass of water on that tray, sitting on your tummy, nice and steady. And okay, so you can relax the arms for a moment. This time you take the knee into the air, take the knee to the side. Back in, down, opposite, so lift, roll out, roll in and down. And then, more challenging part, but one knee in the air, bring both knees up, so you're holding that position now, core working nice and strong. One knee rolls out, comes back, opposite, and turn. Um, You're in charge, you need to rest, rest, that's absolutely fine. Knees up there, take the hands to the knees, knees to the chest. And just gently release the tension, the legs down, stretch the legs away, hands are on the tummy. Nice, good deep breath in. And then again.
Knees back up, little loosen left and right. And you might feel a flick or a release of gas from the joints of the spine. So uh, good. Okay. So we're going to do uh, a kind of medley of bridging and abdominals. So you First part is just five or 10 little half sits. Up and return. Five. And 10 there, and you relax the head and the shoulders, then followed by three to five bridges, so curl that tailbone up, drive the hips up, and down, two, three, Five, good. And again, we're going to repeat that with half sits. So up and down to the knees. If you want to bring the legs in, you can. So up and down. Alternative, you can raise one knee and down. Two. So again, up to ten. Three. Four. Five. Then good. And same as before, then three to five bridges, curl that tailbone, drive the hips up. And five, good. And last bit of the abdominals. So you can do half sits, single knee, or the last challenge is to bring both knees up and hold. Ten, up to 10 repetitions, whichever level, feet down, single leg or both legs. You feel a strain in your neck, take the weight to the head. Ten, good. So pull the legs down, and then the last set on the bridge. And lift that tailbone, hips high, three to five. Five. Excellent. Okay, legs away again. Stretch out the front of the hips, nice breath in. Relax, and again. Let me knee up towards you. Take your knees gently side to side. Down and hold. The opposite. Uh, 
back into the middle there. Okay, so a bit of a stretch of the hip. Bring the left foot, hook it onto the right knee. You can take hold of the foot and the knee, pull it in towards you. You can bring up the right leg, and add that additional stretch. Remember, you're in charge, you don't have to stress it. Down there, opposite there, right foot on the left knee. Take the left foot, left, uh, take hold of the right foot, draw it in towards you, and then bring in the leg if you can. Just hold the foot if you can't. Sit yourself forward there. One leg out, one leg in, reach down to the outstretched leg. Stretch through the back of the thigh. Pull your toes up and get a bit more of a stretch on your nerves. Point your toes, you'll take that stretch off. Moving yourself into kneeling. Loosen again through the pelvis. Good. Hands around to one side. Sink your bottom down. Now from there, round to the opposite. Okay, into the middle there. Last time, sink your bottom down. Deep breath in. Now, release in there, bring the hands back, lift up the chest, lift up the chin, bring yourself back onto your feet. And just finishing the same thing that we started. So some breath work, breath in. On that out breath, just stretch down to one side. Good breath in. Out to the opposite side. Good. Breath in, out breath, wrap the arms round. Breath in, what was it? Good. Nice breath in, reach tall. 
And out, breath down, relax towards the feet. Yeah. And then the last one, feet on the knees, on the hips, lift up the ribs, shoulders back. Nice breath in. And breathing out to finish. Excellent work, everybody. Till next time.